Hi, I'm Miserable Game and welcome. Uh, we are playing Layers of Fear. Um, we have got the flayed skin and we've got. Ooh, a couple of doors missing. And we've got the vial of blood. So, what's going to be next? Let's go and find out. Oh god, it's sounding ominous. Ominous. Things are definitely going downhill in this place. Definitely going downhill. Yeah, I think that one's locked. Fudjunk, 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 fudjunk. Handsome fellow. Oh. Jump scare, aren't I? Oh. Ah! Where's the fucking door gone? Still no flashlight. wrong. It's not letting me, is it? Something's gonna happen. Why was I meant to use the key? There's a door around here I can't see. Okay, thank you. Just totally screwing me around. Don't forget, 9th of June, new moon. He's a werewolf. Remember, dear, that's the night you change into a snarling beast. I hardly touched it. I, it just fell off its hinges, honest. Is there a light there? Can I turn that light on? I feel better with the light on. I feel better with a little bit of light. There's a lot of books. Cretins, fools, blind fools. Oh, how lovely. So I can't read what that says. Oh. 
Ugly. Ugly. You ordered a true portrait, so that's what I painted, you fucking pleb. Maybe I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face. So alcoholic, and he's got some anger management. In group, full blind, full blind, in great. So basically, he painted someone's portrait, and they didn't like the result. I can understand how he feels, you know. He, people don't appreciate your work. Oh. Nice little gallery. Sorry, I haven't breathed. I haven't breathed. <laughs> Wait for the next jump scare. Hello. Is that a backwards telephone ring? Dear sir, if I'm to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Who's this one? Rob. Richard, Robert Richards, MD. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it's perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 recurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I examine the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. I'm just going to turn it down a second. I have to recur... Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin or an unner unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of, ner manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be psychological, but rather purely physiological, but rather psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As you, as to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that she went through what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all of your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Yours sincerely, Richard Robert Richards, M.D. Another fucking quack. Yeah? Somebody answer the goddamn phone! I feel like I'm going around in circles here. God, that noise! It's annoying! I'm gonna go backwards this time.
restless memories. More bottles. Bro, shit in fucking crap! What the fuck was that? Someone's just turned this room upside down, haven't they? Flapping horror, be quiet, constantly flapping, eating other rats. See a goddamn thing again. to go home now or am I home Light. I'll make sure this is shut properly this time. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We uh, we still have a chance of winning this, believe it or not. I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Don't Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. A social worker definitely has it in for you. We can, we can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning. A momentary lapse of reason. An overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. We have a good 50-50 chance of a good... No, it's neither good nor bad, idiot. Bloody lawyers. But not if you, keep in, if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no more public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your door... When do I get the bloody flashlight? I'm shitting myself every time I have to open the fucking door now because of that whatever that thing was on the other fucking side of the door. Oh, I'm going to turn around. There's going to be something behind me or it's all changed. No. Oh, no, there's a door there. Ugh. Where the fuck am I now? What is this house? Uh, 
Ugh, that looks like blood. Toilet's broken. Ah, oh, shitting fucking silent floaters. <laughs> they clock the. Yeah, I get that problem all the fucking time. Fur in the water, no bass for me. Get the goddamn flashlight. Lights in this place are really shitty. Well, stairs. <laughs> it is literally pitch fucking black. Hello? Hello? Strange place. Sorry. I, I didn't. Uh. You'd think I'd learn, wouldn't you? But I just keep touching the fucking thing. Now that's not something you see every day. Oh, quite good actually. <laughs> This shit floating. to stop playing because everything's moving around.
I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. You freak! Then it's so dark. Where the hell am I going? Look, why don't I pick up the bloody candle? And then I could see. Wouldn't that just make a bit of sense? Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh, I can't see a goddamn thing. I'm assuming there's a door down here somewhere. At least ah, oh, stairs. Fitching, 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 fitching. Ah, back in the studio. I think we've missed a few photos. And some letters, it would seem. Quite a few, it would seem. Anyway, let's put the bone in the picture. Oh, that's, that's lovely, isn't it? Right, so we've got the bone now. So we're halfway there. Right. That's all the time for this episode. I hope you're enjoying that. It's freaking the shit out of me. Anyway, please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Enable those notifications so you get informed of any videos I put out. And I hope you see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.